Um, part of our, our mission at the University of Maryland's um, Baltimore County's New Media Studio has been to act as the advocates for integrating digital literacies across the curriculum in a lot of interesting ways. Um, I think our most successful you know, initiative has been with the Digital Story Workshop uh, when we've brought faculty in and trained them and they, they've really begun to you know, uh, use these technologies in their class in a lot of really uh, innovative uh, manners. But with that success has come a challenge, you know, how do, can we better support the faculty in the classroom? And we've found a lot of different methods. We always uh, you know, look to customize that to the individual needs of the faculty. But one thing that we've, we've uh, begun that we're going to talk about today um, is the uh, Multimedia Literacy Lab, which is actually a one credit class. It's sort of modeled on the science lab, but it's mainly used in the humanities and the social sciences. Uh, it can be attached to any number of courses, and um, it's, we, uh, I think we've been doing it for about three years, and it's just continuing to grow. Uh, one of our instructors, who's also the video coordinator of the studio, is Chris Ferreira, and she's going to tell you more about it. Hi, everyone. Thanks. I'm a first timer here, so pardon my nervousness. Um, so yeah, as Bill was saying, um, this class that I've been teaching is a great companion to other classes. Right now, it's sort of, it developed out of the, the Department of Media and Communication. Um, but what we can do is um, introduce students to various digital media skills and tools, and um, it's a great way for them to just get sort of an overview and introduction to those tools, as well as applying that to other classes. Um, so it's been very successful working with um, languages, classes, and uh, English, history, humanities um, tend to work really well with uh, digital storytelling. So the, uh, the structure of digital storytelling is what we use as kind of a foundation for the class. And um, there are all kinds of benefits that the students uh, take away from that in addition to the technical skills of working with audio and um, visual media. They um, improve their writing skills, uh, communication, presentation skills. Um, we encourage them to collaborate, and they also give each other feedback on their work. Um, so it helps with that. I think it definitely builds confidence for the students to be able to express themselves and tell their own stories. Um, but also, in terms of being a support to uh, other classes, it's really great because once they sort of acquire some basics with the technology, they can really um, engage more deeply with the other subjects, such as languages and history and media and communication subjects. So um, we try to, it's basically an introductory class, but what I try to do is give them a really broad spectrum. So they can do something very simple, like just um, write a story and narrate it and pair it with some imagery, or they can really push themselves and um, you know they can go as far as as they can go with the technology. So I try to what we try to do is get them thinking creatively about making their own images. Um, you know whether it's drawing or stop motion is always kind of a fun um, way for them to you know it's kind of a really quick and easy way that they can make visuals for their narrative. Um, so they they've been working with that. Um, so here is a a little excerpt of um, one of the digital stories from a previous class. Pyro flies into space on her magic carpet, zooming through the cosmos and narrowly avoiding the meteors hurling her away. She spots the moon ahead. Why don't I land there? I'd like to be the first space cat to land on the moon. With great skill, she touches down on her magic carpet safely. Why don't I look around, she says aloud, scanning the rocky surface. She hears something in the distance. She perks up her ears, looking around tentatively. Suddenly, she is captured by King Boo, the evil Dog Moon King, and thrown into a terrible space prison. How dare you trespass on my planet? So, you know, they can all work at their own levels, and not everybody is going to do something um, quite as sophisticated. She did all her own imagery for that. Um, 
but, um, oh, oh no, I can't believe it.